Hey, JD. Hopefully. Blair Stagner oh, yeah. asks, what would you be doing if you weren't a professional singer? Um, it's a great question. I, I would uh, love to somehow be a professional golfer, but I don't think that would happen in this lifetime. Not but I love you've golf. Been <laughs> you got skills. You rubbed brother. off on me. You got skills. But uh, yeah, man. golf. Yeah. Golf? Yeah. That's great. Another question from the box? Jay, this is, yeah, we're going to go in for number two here. Michelle Berger. Jay, what has been your favorite city to visit on tour? I'd have to say Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines? Yeah. Some Absolutely. great folks up there. Absolutely. I'm and always excited to see us, too. You can feel the energy. Like in January? Mm-hmm. It's great. Yeah. Shall we go in again? Andrea Adolph. What is your favorite song and why, Jodon? How come you don't get a question? Yeah, how come you don't get a question? What's it, your favorite I, song I don't, and why, And why? Uh, uh, on, probably, Andrea, probably my favorite song is I Won't Let Go on this new album. It's track 11. Yeah, track 11. Nothing like this album. Yeah, check it out, November 16th, when it hits stores. Hope you like it. Go to track 11, after you go to track 1 through 10. Be exactly. Right there. Hey, J.D., uh, yeah. and Barbara Chapman, what is the biggest prank that, that we've ever pulled on somebody? Oh, boy, there's been some good ones. Uh, Darius was pretty good, Darius Rucker. Yeah, you know what, and that was one of the latest ones. That's right. We... <laughs> We hit his toothbrush. You were talking about the goat, right? <laughs> well, there were several things we did. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, one of the last nights of the tour, we, we put a, a goat <laughs> in his, uh, in his, in his uh, changing dressing room yeah. backstage, and it pretty much ate everything, including the couch. and, and um, We hit his toothbrush, and he still doesn't know it's missing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the goat kind of bit us back, though, because I think we had to pay for all the couches and stuff that he chewed up. And all the feed. Goats now yeah. using the toothbrush. And it's weird. Let's go back to the box, guys. Let's go back to the box here on Rhapsody. Uh, Samantha Shoemaker, Jay. Mm-hmm. Do you ever get nervous you when you You think she makes shoes? Well, Possibly. I, well, I think maybe her ancestors. Back in the old days, your yeah. last name used to be like Baker. If you were a baker, yeah. baker, for instance. Right. Uh, your last name was, in fact, Baker. Right. Carpenter. If you were in a carpenter, yeah. in fact, your last name would then be yeah. Carpenter. Very yeah. interesting. So mm -hmm. she probably comes from a long line of footwear makers. Yeah. Shoemaker. Maybe for horses? I mean, it could be. I don't know. It, it could be. Uh, you know, my last name was really Gary Dentist. Oh, did Long you? Did you read it? <laughs> yeah. I read it. Yeah. Yeah, they're actually elves, and then one of mine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you ever get nervous when you perform? No, not really. I think it's more of an adrenaline rush, you know. Right, uh, right before we get ready to go on, I always feel pumped up. But, um, you no, know, when we put together no, a kind of show really. that we put together, it's kind of the same the same format every night. So once you rehearse it and you know it well, you just go out and try to execute it the best you can. It's kind of like a football player having a game right. plan. You just kind of go out and try to make the plays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I get I get really pumped up and high on adrenaline, really. Some Dude. people call it nervousness. Great question, Samantha. Thank you for that. And Cheryl Stewart, who has been the most influential? You think she was a Stewart? Just on, you know, on an airplane? Yeah. Yes. They come from a long line of flight attendants. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. Who has Could been the be. most influential teacher in your lives? Teacher. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> they didn't say professor, it said teacher. Um, you know what? I'd uh, have to say our moms. Well, yeah. That would probably be the I mean, biggest. I, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it was your turn Teacher to answer anyway. You're trying to skip No, I'm not, I'm not. That's no. only your second question. What's, what's the deal? I, I just, I'm trying to just answer. I think that's a good answer. I think, obviously, our moms in our life is, mm -hmm. I mean, moms make the world go round. And uh, we've got three awesome mamas that have been right beside us all the way to here, you know. Yeah. And they'll be there beside us yeah. all the way. Yeah. I think growing up in church, too, you know, just, uh, you know, I think just having that foundation as a kid growing up and, uh, you know, it was was real important. Not that it didn't keep me out of a whole lot of trouble, but that's, that was my own fault. My, like Mama grabbing your ear in yeah, church? Yeah, because see, then church I comes along with church Mom. church in the choir loft. I know, is that? I did. That's the place they take you. Whenever you screwed up in church, yeah. you got jerked up to the choir loft yeah. and spanked. Yeah. I didn't know you were had Catholic. a spiritual moment up there. You Catholic? Mm -hmm. Is that right for your kids to, for parents just to whip you, whip you in church? Mm -hmm. I mean, Probably really. Not. We're going to pass the offering plate after I beat the snot out this kid right here. <laughs> Get a pew. 
You got any more questions in the box? Yeah, we have. Let's go visit the box more. again. Let's do it. Good questions today. WKCQ Morning Crew. All right. What's happening, y'all? They want to know, what is the one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? Chuck Taylors. Chuck Taylor. Well, yeah. shoes. they wouldn't be in my closet because they're on my feet. You know, they're definitely boots. Can't yeah. live without them. I would have to say, um, for me, would probably have to be spandex. I mean, serious. Did you guys oh, know? Yeah. I was going to go with that or the flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> no kidding. Can we cut that? <laughs> no, we're going to use that. I mean, it's an honest answer. You know, it's uh, <laughs> this is an honest show. What is the one thing that in your closet you cannot live without? I'd have to say pants. I mean, you can't go anywhere without you pants. You can't go anywhere without pants. That's yeah. a good point. Clothing. Do you have one, Sometimes. like a favorite pair of jeans that you wear? Uh, just the ones that fit. But I mean, is there one that like you've had for a lot of years that you keep yeah. going back to? Yeah. yeah. You really broke in. And I'll never nice. get rid of them, probably. You never wash them. You just pull yeah. them back up and put them in the closet. When I ride my motorcycle, I've got the same, and I don't think they've ever been washed. <laughs> they could find themselves yeah. back yeah, to the yeah. house. Well, they just sit on the bike, and then I jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the box. Let's do it. All right. Jay, Patty Shaw, if you could spend the day with anyone dead or alive, who would it be, and what would you do? You know, uh, first I would have to say my papa because mm -hmm. I was so close to him. I wish I could have one more day with him. But if it were a his historical figure that I didn't know or anything like that, mm -hmm. I'd love to spend the day with Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Just to kind of pick his brain about what he was going through while the country was torn apart and mm -hmm. he had the whole issue of slavery and everything. Yeah. It'd be interesting to hear yeah. his thoughts. J.D.? Uh, I'd have to probably go with Abraham Lincoln. Um, just an amazing guy, really tall, wears a black hat. Um, long beard. Long beard. No, you know what? Um, probably somebody like uh, Jimi Hendrix, man. Oh, yeah. Probably somebody completely different than Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> 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 Maybe no, we could get those two together. Yeah. God, <laughs> Honest know, Jimmy. Talk about yeah. changing some stuff. No, it'd be really cool to pick somebody. Jimmy Lincoln. That, Jimmy Lincoln. That, that died really young, too young, and had probably so much more to say. It'd really, uh, be cool to pick his brain. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just goes to show you, drugs don't work, kids. That's for sure. That's for sure. What else you got there? It, oh, that's that's see. the. Movie. Let's go back yeah, to the, the box. One. Yeah. Mine would be Jesus. Could you imagine walking one day with Jesus? That'd be mine. Anyway. Evie Hillman. Any pet peeves? And I don't care. Any pet peeves? And I don't care. You know what? Uh, it's it's a little bit disconcerting when you're at dinner trying to hang out with friends and everybody's text messaging. Oh yeah, that's yeah. kind of getting on my nerves yeah. now because it's so easy to keep in contact with everybody. It's like sometimes you just want to go out to dinner and enjoy each other, mm -hmm. and then you have some folks sitting there that are totally tuned out, just yeah. texting away. So I think there should be certain amounts of time. That are you are you saying your your own pet peeve? Yeah, I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Like pet peeved at myself? Yeah. No. You're your I try peeve. to really make a conscious effort <laughs> if I'm out to dinner with my wife or some friends or yeah. something, not to be texting constantly because it can get on your nerves a little bit. Well, your wife will let you know quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. True. Well, she's as bad about it as, as anyone I've mm -hmm. ever seen. So we've actually made a pact that when we go to a restaurant and sit down, we put the phones away. Try mm -hmm. to, because it's so easy to do. I'm bad about it, too. Yeah. We're all bad about it anymore. 